Every morning I come into the Reptera, I do a quick look around the shop just to make sure everything's okay. Why is Lucy's cage open? What the heck is going on over here? Is this is on the ground? Her lock is off? Did someone leave this open last night? Oh no, Lucy is out. You know how disastrous this could be? We've got no choice but to find her. They love to climb. So a lot of times what I'll look for is like plants that are knocked down just to see where she might be. I don't see any plants down. I mean, it's a 20 foot snake. Can't hide that far, right? I'm gonna go back on the security camera footage and find out who was the last person to leave and not lock up. Oh, come here guys, come here. Look at this. Well, we found Lucy. Uh, that didn't take long, but how am I gonna get her down? This is scary. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, guys. Come on, come on Lucy, get down. Uh oh, she's... oh my God, they're so destructive, but I don't know how I'm gonna get her. Ah, come on, girl. Oh. Ooh, it's crazy. For people that don't think retics climb, this is crazy. I just need to get her off this ledge. Ah! Come on. No, oh, she's just getting tighter and tighter. Oh my gosh, this is impossible. Where's her head? I don't even know where her head is. Oh my god, look at this snake. Come on this way. Oh god, I hope the tree doesn't break. A lot of weight on that tree. What you need to do is get her off this little ledge here. Okay, if she uses my body, maybe I can get her. What a nightmare. She's so tight around this thing. There's that no way I can get her off of it. Keep moving. Come this way. I am so glad she's not striking right now. Get her to come this way. It's not easy. Wow. This way, come off this tree, and then I can actually get her back in her enclosure. Come on, girl. Back in your enclosure. Oh my gosh, this is not easy. I swear, whoever left this cage open is in big trouble. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, it, it was me that left it open. Roll the tape. Perfect. Yeah, so the truth was is that I let her out on purpose because I know a lot of you guys have asked me what happens if a snake escapes. Quite frankly, it does happen because snakes are kind of escape artists. So the longer you keep a snake, the better chance you're going to probably have one get loose. But what do you do if yours escapes? I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we have had our share of escapes here. But it's been a long time because now we have a protocol where three people actually go back behind each other to check every single enclosure in the entire place. Well, since we've implemented that type of a procedure, we haven't had one animal escape. But if you remember correctly, when we got Drogo, we've only had him a few days and he escaped. My day is starting a little bit interesting. A bunch of stuff was knocked down all over the place over here. It was obviously climbing up here, whatever it is. There's a banana here. Uh oh. It was Drogo. Drogo's door was open and Drogo was out. Somehow Jay must not have locked the door last night. It was Drogo. Drogo was out and cruising around. I'm gonna look for surveillance footage, guys, because it's gonna be ridiculous. Although Lucy didn't escape this time and it was all stayed, the fact is is that Lucy actually did escape one time. When I first started vlogging, it was probably in the first five or six videos I ever put out on this vlog channel, and it went viral. She was up on top straight. It was crazy as you could possibly imagine. But if it wasn't for that video, I may not be vlogging right now. Unfortunately, this happened. When I came downstairs, I realized that Lucy was not in her cage. <sighs> now the question is, how the heck do we get her from up here to back over there. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Make sure to stay tuned later in the vlog. I'm gonna tell you how you can catch a snake if it ever escapes. Believe it or not, even one time, I left Ben and Jerry's cage wide open, literally like this, and walked out the door. And what happened was, as I was walking by, they had a little bit of poop in so there. So I grabbed the poop out, I went to the back to throw it away, and then I walked out the other way and forgot that I didn't close the cage, and Ben and Jerry were out for a good 12-hour roundabout. But let's hope that never happens here again. But what happens if your snake gets out? You know, there are so many ways that people think that you can actually lure your snake out of 
hiding if it actually escapes. One of them happens to be, let's put a water bowl in the middle of the room, right? Snake is gonna get thirsty. There's no real water for it to drink except maybe your toilet, and that could potentially happen, by the way. So if you put a water dish out, the snake will eventually come over and drink. That's some good quality H2O right there. The fact is, is that snakes sometimes can go weeks without drinking. So if you're gonna wait for that animal to come out and drink out of a water bowl in the middle of your room, you might be waiting for quite some time. Another trick that people like to say works, and I'm not sure if it does, is to take a bottle like this. You can even take a two liter bottle, but you have to have the opening big enough for the snake to actually get in. You put a frozen rodent in here, which could get stinky after a day or two, so you have to, I guess, replace it. You set it down in the middle of the room, and when the snake gets hungry, it's gonna climb in here, it's gonna barely fit in, it's gonna eat the rodent, it's gonna be too big to climb back out. Now you've trapped your snake in there. All you have to do is open this up, and you get your snake. But honestly, I don't think this works. The next thing is to use a plastic contraption that is against the wall. Snakes always crawl along the wall because they feel more safe than being out in the open. But as they're crawling along the wall, you open this up, maybe put a little stick in there. As the snake goes in, it knocks the stick. The lid closes on it and the snake is trapped inside. The practicality of this working is more like hitting the lottery. You've got to have a perfect timing. And just by chance, the snake would happen to crawl into the box. is very doubtful. So I went online and tried to search for the most popular snake trap there was out there. And here it is right here. Typically, it's the same thing as that bottle technique just with two openings on the side and you're putting a rodent in the middle the idea is snake gets hungry it crawls on either side which again doubles your odds of potentially that working gets inside the east of rodents that can't get out now you've got the snake trap now you found your snake will it work i really don't know but I certainly have my doubts about it. But not all is lost. Another super popular technique is to get a frozen rose, set it down in the middle of the room. Again, your snake is gonna be out. The longer it's out, the more hungry it's gonna be. And a lot of snakes are nocturnal, so maybe during the night, you're gonna crawl up and try to eat that mouse. And while it's eating that mouse, you can actually find it. The only problem with this technique is twofold. Snakes are typically more interested in hiding than they are eating. Two, you would have to be setting up like a ghost hunter team or something like that, waiting up all night for that snake to potentially come out for it. So this technique, although in principle is good, might be impractical. But don't worry, there is hope. Now, of course, depending on the size of your animal, like Luna here is a relatively small snake. So if you lose a snake like Luna or a small snake like this, obviously it's gonna be a little harder to find. She could hide anywhere in the tiniest little crevice. Trust me, snakes can get into places you never think they would fit. Hey, for instance, Perdita. You know, she's over 10 foot now. Definitely gotten a lot larger. But believe it or not, when she was like a year and a half, two years old, she was six, maybe six and a half foot. We left her cage cracked just about this much at night. We saw it on security. She got out. It was absolutely terrifying. And she was gone for two days. We looked everywhere. I mean, we looked behind everything. But ultimately, after two days, she actually went all the way from over here all the way to the tortoise pens over here. And one night, we were actually open to the public. And we were stressed out because we couldn't find Perdita for two days. Her head was sticking out right by the top of the ceiling. So she had crawled all that way behind the rocks into that little segment over there. So sometimes snakes can be difficult. Like I said, we spent probably 15 hours searching for her and never found her. And then she eventually popped up. And that's the good news about snakes getting out. 99% of the time, they eventually show up. Uh, yeah, make sure I'm always locking the cages. With that being said, still the best course of action is to search. The longer you search, the more chance you're actually gonna find your animal. When Ben and Jerry were out, it took us about an hour and a half of searching. I ended up finding them back in the back room, tucked away in the corner, hiding behind a couple things. If I wouldn't have searched or if I would have given up, I wouldn't have found them. Now, of course, it depends on the species of animal you're keeping, where it could potentially go. Retics like to wander a little bit. Ball pythons, which is the most common pet snake, they actually don't wander much. So if a ball python ever gets out of an enclosure, chances are it's gonna find the first place it can hide relatively close to the enclosure. Whenever I had a ball python out, I usually find it literally within six feet of where it got out. So just remember to look in every little tight spot because there's a chance that it could just be tucked away somewhere really close to the enclosure. Listen guys, I wish there was an easy way I could tell you to find an escape snake. The truth is, it's all about just you looking and trying to find the animal. Trust me, unfortunately, I've made a lot of mistakes over the last 35 years and let a lot of animals out. I've only had one snake ever in that entire time that escaped that never turned up. But my best piece of advice to you is to always keep your enclosures locked and secure so your animal can't get out. Remember, if there's an opportunity for a snake to get out, trust me, they're gonna find it and they're gonna get out and you're gonna be bumming and you're gonna be going crazy like I have in the past. I've learned my lesson here and I know that nothing is gonna get out in the future. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise...